so close. What is going on, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to a very rare Sunday evening live event. Why? <laughs> Why is this on Sunday? Well, um, because I had a lot going on this weekend. As I was telling chat, if you didn't know, you know, maybe you're new to my channel. If you didn't know, YouTube is actually not my whole life. I have uh, a wife and kids, um, and we uh, we do a lot of um, traveling stuff, sports, different types of events, and this weekend was one of those weekends. Uh, it was five and a half. I think I stretched it out. I was being dramatic. Stretched. I called it a six-hour drive. Six hours there um, on uh, Friday. And then we were there the whole weekend, and we I, I literally just got back. I, I told my wife, I said, the moment, you know, I told everybody 8 o'clock, there, there's no way we're going to make it because we wanted to go to this cool, like, science museum for the kids. Um, so we took them to this, like, fun science museum, and time just got away from us. And so um, once I had another chance to stop and gas up, I created a new post for Patreon, a new post for... Um, <laughs> Instagram and a new post for the community tab saying it's going to be delayed. I'm so sorry. So I got in the door at about eight o'clock and spent 30 minutes prepping. And here I am right off the road, uh, ready to give away some knives. It's hard for me to not do a, a live stream every weekend because I, I look forward to these and I know that other people expect them. And so I am um, <laughs> doing my best to bring it to you guys tonight. But um, anyways, yeah, feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for me. <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm here. I know it's too late for some people, right? For some people saying like, ah, it's too late for me. Ah! Okay, well, <laughs> like, there's always, no matter when I do it, there's always going to be people who can make it and other people who can't, like, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to do everything I can to uh, do a live stream every weekend at some point. Right? There's always going to be some people left out. So, congrats to those who made it. For those who did not make it, maybe next time. But thank you so much to the people who are here tonight. Because I got knives to give away. And nobody has found the, the super cool uh, $450 USA made knife that I've got tucked away in those pouches. Let's turn the music up. It's, uh, I don't know about you guys, but it's spring break. For us next week so as you know I work at home being a full-time youtuber and that means that I'm at home the whole next week with the kids so that'll be that's always fun to figure out how to get my work done <laughs> we'll make it work we play a lot of Monopoly in the metal complex house we play a lot of Monopoly James Greider thanks for the uh the memberships, that's very kind of you, extremely generous. Thank you very much for donating those. Congrats to those who won. Yeah, everybody thought I was skipping because I didn't show up on uh, Friday. I told my patrons, I said, it's probably not going to happen. It's, it's definitely not going to happen Friday or Saturday. There's a small chance it'll happen Sunday. Almost didn't do it, but I thought, you know what? I got it in me. I got it in me. Right? Of course I do. Have some Gatorades on Sunday evening. Right before I have to turn around and work the next day. Um, Doc Jekyll, thanks for the donations again. Wow, very kind. Thank you very much. Congrats to those who won. I don't expect the population to be massive tonight, given that it's going to be fairly late on a Sunday evening, right? We are going for an hour and a half tonight. That means that we're going until 10 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. And I know because of the time change, for, for a lot of you, that's super late. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're doing tonight. <laughs> Craig Moroni, just all caps. I feel like shit. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I hope your evening gets better. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, he says, I mean, if you're on the West Coast, you're probably doing all right. Guy on the Buffalo. Okay. Thanks for the donation, Rocky. Appreciate that. 
got worried when there was no stream. You thought I died? Nah, it's still around. I showed. I took a picture. We went, we took the kids to a Dave and Buster's clone. If you're on Instagram, uh, you saw a picture of me. Uh, I may or may not have been in the bathroom. I think how I captioned that. But we were at a Dave and Buster's clone with the kiddos. Uh, just do you know? Wasting money on those cards and the kids love that stuff. You know, they it's it's a huge arcade. It's flashy and crazy, and yet you know. A lot of people say that stuff's a waste of money, but you know, the kids have a great time and they get to spend all those tickets on little <laughs> rubber things that they throw all over the vehicle on the way home. Listen to the, this, we, uh, the, my wife and I had started, we, we got through half of the fourth Harry Potter audio, but we've listened to the, I've read the books three times through, and I've listened to all the audiobooks at least 10 times through. I think my wife has read the books 20 times through, but we had started the fourth Harry Potter book on the last family outing, and we finished it, this one, and we started, we realized we had listened to the fifth, fifth book more recently, so we started the sixth. That's what we listened to on road, we, we, we just, that's what gets us through the road trips, or the audiobooks, so. Sunday Live, and I heard eight months, the charm for a win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up? Thank you. Pay playing with my Stitch and the Chavez, Guy on the Buffalo. What does that mean, Guy on the Buffalo? I don't understand. Am I missing something? You take a weekend off of social media and you miss a lot of stuff. I have no idea what that means. But uh, thank you for the donation. All is good with West Coast USMC. To the Spider Coast Shaman, bottom left, fourth row. You like that? That was. <laughs> if you guys remember that build. So I'm trying to get context on the. <laughs> on the Buffalo. I don't understand. Well, anyways. So if you guys don't remember this build, this was when I was very bored. There was like. There was nothing like dropping in the knife world that I really wanted. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to build a bunch of custom shamans. And that's what I did. And this is how I found out about Medenboss scales, which are beautiful. These are completely custom USA-made Zerkatai scales that I, I believe they cost me $800. Um, but I had the, the channel budget building and building and building. And I, I also found a, I think this was a Knife Center exclusive S90V Shaman Blade. And then, of course, I put the MXG Deep Carry Clip on it. I do still want to get a different backspacer. I would love to get, like, a Zirconium Clip and Zirconium Backspacer for this. But, um, yeah, this is the S90V Zerkatai Shaman build. Absolutely ridiculous. Nearly an $1,100 Shaman build. And uh, it was just, just be, like, I, was, I had to do something, you know, and I, I needed to make more content. And I was like, you know what? I, I want to do this. This looks really fun. And this was like at the peak of my Zerkatai fascination. Um, you still got that Sandstorm too? I do, yeah, actually I do. I haven't got that. I'm glad you reminded me. I haven't got that out for a long time. I'll bring that guy out because he's handy. Yeah, I kept this one. I, I was stupid to let go of uh, the other Sandstorm. Here's my wish. Um, can you imagine... My guess is clearly companies like the, the super primo Chinese brands have figured out, I think, how to do the shiny DLC. And I think that knowledge is starting to pass around. Can you imagine what's going to happen when Max Ace starts producing stuff like this? I mean, who saw this coming? For real, guys, who saw this Kaiser coming? And I know that this, this knife makes people mad. If you haven't seen this yet... This was the Kaiser drop they did, and you know, yeah, I know they sold out super fast, but Kaiser released the um, the Militaw in a shiny black DLC, S45VN with the purple fat carbon, and they sent it to me and I had no idea that it was coming. This blew my mind. And I know that not, here's the other thing, let's talk about two things. Number one, we're gonna put a pin in this. Holy crap, companies like Kaiser are able to do this. This is amazing, right? Can we not? focus for a second on the fact that they did like a club drop for like the pre-order was like 175 or something that's insane but also even the retail price of this was pretty ridiculous what was it 225 i don't know about you guys but 
I'm on board with that. Fat car purple fat carbon inlays and DLC polished S45 the end with a titanium frame. Uh, 225 is pretty fair, especially considering we got a titanium pocket clip with it. And before everybody gets super mad and well, of course you got one that. Um, listen, I asked Kaiser because I sent them a message immediately, coming to you live from the hospital with my newborn. Oh, congrats, congrats, Aaron. That's wonderful. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up for a second. That's excellent. So happy for you. Oh, I'm so I'm pumped that you took some time to even come in here and say that. That's wonderful. Holy moly, raise swords for this guy. New dad, or maybe this is number two or number three. Either way, congratulations. Wonderful news. Excellent. Wow. So cool, man. So happy for you. I mean, like, that's great you share it, but like, man, you got you got stuff to get back to, man. <laughs> that's so cool. Wow. Thanks for the donation. Save that. I should give that back to you. You're going to yeah, diaper money, man. The diapers are expensive, dude. Uh, that's so cool. Congrats, for real. Thanks for sharing that news with us. Um, but I asked Kaiser directly, the moment I finished the video for this, I said, hey guys, please tell me you're gonna do this like more often. And I think they wanted to be a little secretive about it, but let me tell you, they confirmed that this is not, it's clearly not the end. I think they're gonna do more Militaz. And I think this shiny DLC, I think this is just the start of it. So if you're, you know, if you got if you got sauce in the britches over missing this one, don't. I, I I think this is hardly the last. In fact, I think we're gonna see the rise. We're gonna see the age of the shiny DLC. This is going to be a regular thing. There's gonna come a day where shiny DLC is as common as M390, and it's it is upon us. The dawn of a new age is nigh. Machine wise, what's up? Hey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the donation. Super kind. Love what you're doing with the giveaways. We want to contribute to Damn Still Snore for the future. <laughs> I feel like everybody in here is definitely going to be totally okay with that. Yes, absolutely. Are you kidding me? So, machine wise, number one, if you're not familiar with machine wise, you need to follow them on Instagram, but uh, they want to don donate a. Damasteel Sonora for a future giveaway. If you guys don't know what the Sonora is, that is a titanium integral USA made button lock. And they want to take that and add Damasteel to it and offer it up for a giveaway, which is extremely generous. Thank you very much. I feel like essentially everybody in the knife community will be on board with that. That is super cool. Uh, make sure you guys follow Machine Wise. I'm going to be, I've unboxed the Sonora, it is wonderful. I'm going to be reviewing it soon, and spoiler alert, I've, I've got essentially nothing but praise to give that model. Uh, that's very cool, so thank you very much. Excellent, excellent. Not a uh, message I was expecting to receive tonight, wow. Very cool, thank you very much. Holy moly. Yeah, that could be, that'd be like... That's like a grand prize milestone knife, man. That's major. That, if you, listen. If all the puzzle pieces aren't there, that's a really expensive knife. A USA Titanium Integral with a Damasteel blade, that is an expensive knife. That, and and at, to their standards, which are incredible, some of the most precision machining I've ever seen, that's pretty amazing. So, very cool. Landon Beeler, thanks for your donation. Thanks for your amazing contributions to the knife community. Looking forward to that. Kaiser been following anxiously for the drop. Yeah, they'll do more. And and of course, I'll be here to continue to give stuff away. I'm I'm feeling a little greedy with this guy. I'm hoping that Kaiser sends me another one so I can give it away. Because I feel like I I feel like I should give this away. I've already carried it. Like I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm all like I put it in my pocket immediately because. I just loved it. I wanted to carry something with shiny DLC. Uh, well, outside of my, um, I, I have the uh, the Kunwu, the Padre in shiny DLC, but uh, I just, I was like, man, I want to EDC this. So it's got a little bit of debris on it. They if, if Kaiser sends me another, like a newer project in shiny DLC, I promise I'll give it away. Latest Nightfall, Crying Alpha, Herman Dragonfly, and Magnica, and the Defiant 7 Servo. God bless. 
Uh, RIP your bank account, but that's cool. Now I have a Herman Mantis on the way. Give me the damn rook. <laughs> Lucifer. You're, you're mad. You've gone mad, Lucifer. <laughs> God. <laughs> Pokemon, this is DuckTales. But yeah, I mean, that old school. Nintendo, Game Boy, NES. There's some, I mean, there's there's some Pokemon tunes that like stick with you, you know, they, and it's all pretty similar. MC, thoughts on Pokemon? If you play the games, which are your favorite? Hands down, gold and silver. I mean, anybody who's played through the old Pokemon games will probably say the same. Gold and silver are legendary. Not only those, the, there's there's rarely so much content packed into a game. Not only did you get new Pokemon, you got the eight new gym leaders. Then you got to face the Elite Four. You got new legendaries. Then you got to go back to the original region and fight new versions of the old gym leaders. So sixteen gym leaders. I remember having my mind blown. I did not know as a kid that once the game ended, you could go to the other islands. And they were like, oh yeah, you, you, if you want to, you can go and uh, fight the uh, the Kanto gym leaders. And I remember being a kid and I was like, what? I'm, I'm literally halfway through the game. I thought it was over. I just sunk 40 hours into this game. You're telling me I'm halfway? I, I was blown away. Gold and Silver, or Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I think, were the ones that really were the peak of those games. That's, in my opinion, where Pokemon peaked out, was Heart Gold and Soul Silver. My son is playing um, Fire Red. I started him with Fire Red um, uh, for like his first journey. I wanted to start with the original, but I thought Fire Red, just because it's full color and the models are better, and it's still the original game with a few alterations, but I started him with Fire Red, and he is having a, a blast. I think he he started with he started with Squirtle. He's got a Blastoise and an Arcanine. That's his group right now. We're gonna we're gonna work on. I've been giving him some pointers. We're gonna work on Snorlax, <laughs> and uh, and then we'll finish out we'll finish out a group of five before the Elite Four for optimal leveling. The giveaway is is shipping to USA only, but it is it does not exclude anybody. Zach uh, Benson, thanks for thanks for joining the nice round nights razor swords for Zach. Um, if you live outside of the USA, you can still enter and win. It's like I always say, but you need a friend, a family member, or somebody from the knife community who you trust who lives inside the USA, because I legally must ship things here. It is. My channel is anchored to the legal system, so I can get it to them. And then whatever happens after that, where where it goes or how you go about that, that's up to you. But I, I got to ship it here. I know it's rare to, to have a live stream on a Sunday, and I'm sorry for that, but I, I don't like missing weekends. Live streams are, they. I love creating content, but live streams have become my absolute favorite thing because I get a chance to actually interact with you guys instead of just little comments in the comment section. I like to actually, I like to talk with people and I love to give stuff away. Um, so I try to, I try to dedicate to once a week lives um, and uh, I, I don't like missing. So like this weekend was absolutely crazy and I was gone um, and uh, we got back and I thought I've got time to do this. I'm going to do it. So. Alicord, that sucks. What's going on with Alicord? Hold on, it's going on. Oh, I saw this. Alicord says, local knife store was broken into last night this morning. Multiple Microtech Heretic Kershaw knives were stolen, including custom Marfions and a Heretic custom Medusa. No box. Okay, so given that these are so specific, this is something that is very important. We should be on the lookout for this. I saw the post on Instagram. We should be watching out on the secondary market for listings of new inbox knives that match these descriptions, especially, and honestly what we should be doing to really zero in on it is highlight those customs that were stolen because those are easily identifiable. Um, 
Alicord, if there's a way to get pictures of those customs, if you can get them to me, I'll try to spread the word to my audience and uh, give them to other content creators because that would identify the culprits uh, much easier. They obviously plan to sell this stuff if they still, I mean, like they're not, they're not collectors, right? These are people trying to make money off of it. We should be identifying obviously everything that got stolen. And I think they're probably already doing that. I'm not saying that they, the people who are, you know, filing the reports aren't competent, obviously, but helping the community identify specifically what was stolen, I would be more than happy to be a part of that. Uh, that's awful. And the people who did this uh, deserve to be, um, you know, caught and reprimanded for that. So that sucks. I saw the pictures. Awful. You responded to my message on Discord. Okay, I'll. Oh, it tonight is. It's like pre uh, spring break, so right after the live stream, I've got I've got family stuff, but I'll try and, and check out on that. Okay, thank you. You sent me the Medusa. All right. They, oh, you did. All right, I'll have to check that. I'm sorry. This weekend was crazy. I was just like unresponsive on all platforms because I was was you know I was doing family stuff. I, you gotta be stupid to steal custom knives. I just, that is so stupid. You have to be, here's the thing. You gotta be stupid to steal anything. Don't steal stuff. But you're stealing custom knives? Stupid. Goku, hey, good to see you. Hey, thanks for the donation. Well, there's almost a thousand people. Wow, I did not expect a thousand people tonight. That's cool, thank you. I know! Akira Toriyama, he, he died. I didn't realize this was on March 1st. Change the world forever is a massive, it's such an understatement, but it's so true. Thanks for that donation. Extra gym day just for him. Akira Toriyama is no longer with us. I think it was, um, was it brain bleeding? Something like that? Um, that is so sad. That's so, that's ter uh, like, that's one of, there are more people, this is a fact, there are more people worldwide who know who Goku is than people who know who Bugs Bunny is. That is, is such an iconic figure. And, uh, like, uh, undeniably shaped the world of anime. And honestly, I mean, you see NFL players doing the fusion dance as a touchdown celebration. So anybody who wants to say, oh, it's nerdy stuff, shut your face NFL players do the fusion dance in the end zone. You have no idea. Everybody knows. Everybody knows who Goku is. You can pretend not to know, but you know. He's the strongest superhero of all time. It's absolutely devastating news. I didn't know that. I, I didn't know it. It was like four days later and I was like, what? Felt bad. I mean, like, you know, like a lot of people, I felt like I personally knew him. Well, obviously didn't. Don't don't know him at all, but I feel like I did. You didn't know that I'm a gigantic Dragon Ball Z fan? Say, also One Punch, huge into that. I'm not an anime guy. Like I say this, like I don't, I don't watch a lot of anime, but I do like Cowboy Bebop. Uh, I was big into Trigun for a while. I got introduced to that through Toonami. Um, I love the original Pokemon series. I love Dragon Ball Z, and I love One Punch. People keep recommending um, Chainsaw Man to me, so I'll have to watch that. His creations fueled my childhood as no truer statement has ever been uttered. Thanks for that donation, DJ. Watch Demon Slayer. You're you're like the 900th person. No, you're the, the you're the 8,001st person <laughs> to tell me to watch Demon Slayer. So I'll have to check that out. Rage Rage Swords. Even if you didn't know who Akira Toriyama was. It is almost impossible that that guy didn't affect your life in some way. 
butterfly effect, Akira Toriyama has had some impact on everybody's lives on Earth, whether you realize it or not. Also, I feel like the world was gifted an additional, like, one million bodybuilders and powerlifters and super athletes because of Dragon Ball Z. There is no way that that's not true. I didn't care whatsoever about being, like, strong or athletic until I st started watching Dragon Ball Z and I was like, oh, sh oh shit, I gotta do this. <laughs> I, I have to learn how to, I have to be really athletic and muscular and learn how to throw a Kamehameha wave in my front yard. Those are my life goals. That's That was Dragon Ball Z for sure. And don't pretend like you didn't try. I tried. I put my heart and soul into it. I remember being 12 or 13 and thinking, I might, I think I can actually do this if I really focus. <laughs> I tried to do it on a riding lawnmower. I'll never forget. I was on a riding mower. I was like 12. I was on a riding mower. And I was like, I think I can do this right now. I was out there for like four hours mowing a lot. Get a rower, guy on a buffalo. I still don't know what that means. I'm sure there's lots of people laughing at me. I have no idea. Breck Williams, uh, welcome to the Nights Around. Uh, calling the Dragon Sword with the Dragon Flute, I've definitely tried to do that with a stick too. I used to throw my headphones on and listen to like, um, let me think. I was listening to Creed. And like imagining myself powering up before a wrestling match in seventh grade. Like that I was that kid. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna power up and I'm gonna abs I'm gonna dragon punch the shit out of this kid. <laughs> like that that's what it was going on inside my head before I was like moody and I had like my beanie pulled over my eyebrows and I was like in my gear, like walking up and down the the back hallways of whatever high school we were in before my wrestling match and I was just I was like amping myself up to Creed and thinking about like Kyo Kenning all over this kid's ass during during a match. <laughs> Don't pretend like you didn't do that. If you didn't do it exactly that you did some version of that. <laughs> With arms wide open, and they all kill me, yeah. I, I can never understand what, what they were saying in Creed because there was a Ys and Ws and Rs after everything. No, it was a bullet. Was that the song with the huge intro? Bullet? Man, that was my power-up song for a long time. Can you take me higher? <laughs> <laughs> You're at the gym listening to me talk. There's no way you can. There's no way you can focus. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way you're getting a quality workout in right now. <laughs> Creed was the best half. What year was Creed the halftime show? <laughs> was that real? I didn't even know about that. Oh yeah, Limp Biscuit break stuff. I used to listen to that as a moody teenager for sure. Who's that guy on uh, Instagram who makes those funny reels about like being upset with your parents and they ground you or say no sleepover and they're like listening to um Bring Me to Life by Evanescence, and he's like flipping off the door and it's like imagining himself as Wolverine while listening to Bring Me to Life. <laughs> oh my God. Ever, all of us did that. All of us did that same type of stuff, man. It's so funny. Oh my God. That's the best. Scrambled eggs. <laughs> yeah. I, I listened to... Uh, my friend introduced, I got introduced to Metallica through the live recording of the S&M concert. And I remember the link, I feel like music hit me completely through the live orchestral version of No Leaf Clover. 
it was the climax of that song, and I remember listening to that on my headphones and thinking, I'm pretty sure I just ascended. I'm pretty sure I understand music now. Like, the high that it gives me, like, the feeling of invincibility that it gives me. It was inebriation through music, and it clicked. And I was like, oh my god. I'm gonna dedicate my life to becoming a Dragon Ball Z superhero through the help of Metallica and a symphony. <laughs> and I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna lay waste to every middle school wrestling opponent that <laughs> I come up against. I'm gonna unleash this newfound <laughs> energy upon every wrestling opponent that I come up against. Oh my god. I, lo I love In Flames. I'm a huge fan of In Flames. What is it? Their new one of their newer songs, "Meet Your Maker," goes so hard. Wow! Live. I was listening to that the other day. Godsmack got me with that uh, military promo, the army promo. Was it the "I Stand Alone" with the military promo? I was like, "What song is this? Whoa!" Great marketing there. Ramstein. Yeah, it's it's hard now because the, the lead singer got in trouble for some really heinous stuff. I can't lie, I still find Ramstein's stuff really catchy, but every time I listen to it, I'm like, ooh, that guy was really messed up. Like, as I'm sure a lot of, you know, like, As I Lay Dying, their lead singer, or wait, was it As I Lay Dying? Yeah, that guy, like, tried to have his spouse murdered or something, or his girlfriend murdered. Like, there's a lot of bands that I listen to. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> they, did some, they did some bad stuff. Oh, is this Ninja Gaiden? Talk about songs that give you chills, that rush up your spine, where you're like, ah, oh, yep, I could lift the bus. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, this is lift the bus music. You can't, but... God, it's so crispy. Dragon Force through the fire and flames. Honestly, like anybody who's, if you've ever heard through the fire and flames and you're like, wow, yeah, that's a crazy song. It's like literally every song they do. It's not even the most impressive song that they have. Some of their songs are like eight minutes long and the whole thing is just Herman Lee shredding with eight eight hands and 48 fingers. And then they're, they got a keyboard guy that's like living in the shadows of Herman Lee, but the keyboard guy is also super epic. Why do so many of you guys don't you, you guys don't know that I'm into the same? I'll, listen, a lot of us, my demographic, a lot of you guys are the same age as me. We like a lot of the same stuff. Did you guys not know? I'll, what I found out from a lot of my audience is you guys think that I'm uh, just some goofball basement dweller who looks like Tom Hanks, or you you think that I'm a jock who's like oblivious to the internet culture, but of the. Uh, you know, early 2000s to the late 2000s. You're all wrong. <laughs> Not, some of you know, right? <laughs> all right, let's talk about knives. Sorry, getting off track here. It's already nine o'clock. What's the installation knife bottom row on the left? The installation. Well, the, the this big boy is, is the uh, Maxis Hephaestus, which is probably the most elegant of the overbuilt folders. This is a very, I mean, a lot of people wouldn't define this as elegant, but if you look at the, the competition of overbuilt folders out there, none of them, very few of them, I should say, match the quality and the just the machining uh, complexity of the... Um, the Hephaestus, and my God, that flipping action. I need to update the top 10 best flippers of all time. A few of you have been asking me to do that, and um, that's a difficult top 10 to create, but top 10 best flippers of all time, well, it, it's coming. And I'll tell you right now, the Skaha 2 is gonna be in there. The Skaha 2 is ridiculous. If you if you know, it's one of those knives, if you know, you know. God dang. Skaha 2 is, you can hear it. Man, 
That thing is crispy. You know, like the thickest kettle chip. Imagine crunching down on the, the thickest kettle chip, the most delicious kettle chip you've ever crunched with your teeth. And it just, you savor every moment, every click. That's what it's like to flip this. I can taste it with my fingers. Rich Campbell uh, donated 10 Metal Complex memberships. Thank you very much. Congrats to the people who, uh, who won. How many knives are left? There's 12 knives left. I mean, there's going to be two winners tonight. None of these knives are up for grabs. The, the, the knives that are up to win tonight are all in mystery pouches. If your name gets drawn, you get to pick two. I'm going to pick two winners tonight, so four, four knives. Oh, wait. Ethan Thomas said, I believe Ramstein's vocalist had all charges dropped after police couldn't find any evidence. I didn't know that. Is that actually true? If that's true, then I shouldn't be spreading these rumors. That's on me. I didn't know that. Uh, well, that's good. Then I can go back to listening to Ramstein music guilt-free. Um, did you, uh, not kale chip, kettle, kettle, kettle chips, regular potato chips are, are for the unascended. Kettle, kettle potato chips are for the ascended. The lead singer of Ramstein, do you remember finding out that he was jacked? I remember the first time I looked that guy up and I was like, whoa, when does that guy find time to work out? Jeez. That guy's huge. Or, I mean, in his prime, like, obviously right now he's probably a little bit shriveled up, but in his prime, that guy was thick. What's the best knife on the table to cut cabbage? <laughs> I mean, probably the Skaha. Yeah, probably. Or the, I mean, because of the grind, maybe the, the dragonfly? The length and the grind? Yeah. Probably. Could also give it to the cedar. It's a sweet baby right there. Um... God dang it, what was I going to say? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. There's 1,200 people in here, guys. It's time for me to plug my Instagram. Have you ever wondered, what does a guy like Metal Complex do on Patreon? I said plug my Instagram. I'm going to plug my Patreon, which, by the way, is linked right at the top of the uh, comment section. What does a guy like Metal Complex do on Patreon? Well, in the early days of the channel, uh, Patreon actually helped allow the channel to exist. I couldn't actually create the content without Patreon. Now, those days have come to an end. The channel is self-sustaining through ad revenue and other sources. But I've told my Patreon supporters at this point, this is what's happening. I, you guys are here of your own free will. If you want to continue to donate, that's great. I'll continue to create uh, exclusive content. But I offer additional benefits now. And now what I do with the Patreon funds is I buy knives for content. Stuff that I think people would find interesting. A lot of times I buy stuff that's eventually given away or sold back to Patreon at a discount so that I can continue to do what I do. I like Patreon to be full transparency. I like people to understand exactly what I do on Patreon. So I make that very clear in literally every single live stream. That way the folks at Reddit don't have nearly as much ammunition because they, they seem to really <laughs> enjoy using trying to use that against me. No, uh, I'm very transparent about it. Uh, the benefits of Patreon are for literally any amount of money you want. I have multiple tiers, but for as low as $1 a month, you'll gain access to um, Patreon-exclusive weekly content, which is usually behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, Patreon-exclusive chat, buy, sell, trade, stuff like that. Discord access, um, which is also private. Once a month, Patreon-exclusive giveaways, which are usually pretty, gr pretty great. Right now, there's a, a Patreon-exclusive giveaway active. You can enter by joining Patreon of the Reich 1904, which is a $250 knife. So you can join and gain access to that if you want. I also sell knives privately there and everything that I sell on Patreon is massively discounted. So usually brand new knives at roughly half price. And there's an active sales campaign going on right now where I have, I would say about 15 more knives to sell. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, and you'd like to support the channel and, of course, me buying more knives for content, which is absolutely what I'll do, you can simply click that Patreon link right at the top of the chat and join Patreon. Or you can not do that and watch this live stream and potentially win a knife for free. 
Tonight's live stream does not require you to be a patron in order to enter and win. Just want to make that clear. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's kind of like OnlyFans. <laughs> Close up of the sham and tie skills, please. Yeah, sure. You like that? I do. Oh, I love, I love Zerka ties. Something about that shiny dark gray up against electric purple and blue. And these aren't, these have my fingerprints all over them. So this, this um, Zerka tie has been dulled a bit. It is actually much more vibrant than this. Look at those layers. Met and Boss does such a great job with his scales. They're expensive and they're, you know, they're made in the USA, but they fit perfectly. Everything has always been great. The action on this knife has always been really great. Just beautiful stuff. I love the Shaman. A lot of you guys know my knife design. One of the major influences of my knife design was the Spyderco Shaman. I've said this many times and I know what's going to happen when my design finally comes out. A lot of people are going to say, that's a copy of the Shaman, that's a copy of the Strider, that's a copy of the Hinderer, that's a copy of the... And the, the truth is, is I drew inspiration from all of those designs. Specifically, the Chris Reeve Umnum Zahn, the Benchmade Griptilian or the Ritter Hogue, the Spyderco Shaman, the XM18, uh, the uh, SNG from, from uh, Strider, all of those. Um, I borrowed elements and drew inspiration from all of those. And I want to make that as clear as possible, as often as possible, so that people understand or that so that you guys, you know, when you see comments like that, you can say, hey, he made mention of this. Like, you know, I don't want to try and hide it. My design is absolutely a combination of elements from some of my favorite stuff. And as a knife reviewer, I feel like that's inevitable. I'm going to take my favorite things, what I consider to be the best elements of some of my favorite knives and try to combine them into essentially a dream knife for myself and then hope that other people enjoy it. So when you guys finally see my design, it, it absolutely will be a combination of elements. But what I tried very hard to do with my partner is not directly copy lines. That's what I preach. Things can borrow elements. But don't copy lines exactly. Don't copy things exactly. It's okay to draw inspiration, right? Destroyer, welcome to Knights Around, Knights Razor Swords. Welcome to Knights Around, Destroyer. It there's a there are many versions of it, uh, Titanium Justin, that will be expensive. But our goal again is to create multiple variants at tiers that are less expensive, so that people have access to it. I'm not going to be butthurt if people don't like my design. I fully expect people to not like it. You, you guys forget that I read as many comments as I do a day. People get mad at me every day. They get they get pissed off about something I say or something I posted. Literally every day. Like hundreds of people. I fully expect people to not like it. Like some people aren't going to like it. Some people are. This was a dream project for me. The fact that people are gonna, some people are going to not like it is a given. That's going to happen. I'm going to release it because I want to do it and I want to share this with people. Dirt Wizards Unite. Yeah, that's fine. If you don't like it, you can just tell me, right? You can say, hey, your knife sucks and you suck. And I'll be like, well, you suck. And then we can just go on with our lives. <laughs> I still have no idea what Rocky's referencing. I, I appreciate you paying me to say this. I just don't know what you're saying. <laughs> you can't buy the the knife hasn't even been revealed yet. Somehow I have managed my my partner's very good at secrecy. I have not nobody literally no one knows exactly for sure who I'm working with, and no one knows what it looks like yet. We've kept it a secret this whole time. Somehow in 2024. Um, I have multiple prototypes here with me. It's coming together. There'll be a big update soon. When it's time for you to pre-order, which I will do that, I'll give everybody plenty of time to pre-order, I will let you know. I will not tell you. Everybody keeps guessing Kunwu. That's so interesting. You guys are so sure about that. <laughs> That's funny. 
Jason Carl, welcome to Knights of the Round Knights. Raise your swords for Jason. A lot of people have guessed Max Ace. Had a couple people guess Protech. That was interesting. Uh, also interesting, I had people guess Microtech, but I've already said it's not going to be USA made because it would be way too expensive. You guys would be pissed. I'd be like, my knife is here. I made 20 of them, and they're $1,000 each. Everybody, I would become a knife community pariah if I did that. It's just not possible. Ria, people guess Ria. Interesting guess. QSP, people have also guessed that. Is it irritating that you can't single out exactly which one I'm leaning into? Everybody guessing. Z <laughs> who, who manufactures the Z Hunter? You guys can keep guessing. I'm not going to confirm it. Um, but, I mean, some people who guess will obviously be correct. And then they get to say, I knew the whole time. But here's the truth. It's never been leaked. It's never been publicly leaked. So the people who guess, they just got lucky. You'll hear people talk, yeah, so I was uh, I was in on that. Uh, there was like a secret uh, group where they talk. There isn't. Literally the only conversations that have ever occurred have been be between me and this person on Instagram. Nothing is leaked. If you talk to somebody who says they know for sure, they're pulling your leg. Ethan Grow. Oh my God, no. Cross my heart and hope to die. It's not Ethan Grow. Good Lord. As long as I've, I've have made this like a thing, I expect there to be conspiracies. Like, of course there are. That's what people on the internet do. With a lack of information, right? There's like a vacuum. Of course. Of course there'll be interesting conspiracy theories. That, that's fun for me to read those. Yeah, it's, it's Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk and I, our ultimate plan is to develop a Chinese integral <laughs> project Excalibur. Elon Musk is taking huge chunks out of his workday to help me develop. I I will say this though. This is this first release is just the beginning. We we're we're already talking about future stuff, man. Like I think this is I think this is the start of something much larger. So let's see. I'm not making any promises, right? I'm just like, it's like grandiose, you know, maybe it's delusions of grandeur. I don't know. But uh, man, like I have, I have all these crazy fun ideas. And my, the, the, my partner that I'm working with also shares in this ridiculous fantasy of doing wild stuff. So it's, it's fun. It's the right person, right? I've known this for a long time. I've known it for well over, I'd say two years now. It's the right person. Very confident. Narcissist, narcissistic. A lot of people, I think, confuse narcissism with confidence, right? Those are two different things, you know? I mean, if you need to reduce it to that to, like, make it make sense for you, then, oh, that's fine. Like, however you want to define it. But narcissistic, no. I, I'm, I'm not, it's not even that I'm confident, it's that I'm really excited to share my, you know, the culmination of all this, right? We're, 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 we're coming to a, a certain culmination of things. I'm excited to share this with everybody, right? It's fun. We've been, we've been doing this metal complex thing for a while now, you know? It's time to, it's time to poop something out for everybody to, to enjoy, right? You guys are so convinced it's Kunlu. I can't wait to surprise you. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's that time. Give me a sec.
All right, sorry. Kids were down for bed, so I had to say goodnight real quick. <clears throat> All right, 9.22. We're going until 10 o'clock tonight. 1,405 people in here on a Sunday evening. You irresponsible people. You have to work. Most of you have to work tomorrow. Including me. But thank you for being here. The Herman. Let's take a look at the old Herman. My first custom ever. You guys remember this? What a big day. What a beautiful baby. There I am, right there, Tom Hanks. Such a beautiful knife, such a beautiful knife. Herman quality. It's crazy to think, you know, they've really just continued with the exact same level of quality this whole time. I always, I, I keep forgetting I'm wearing my actual ring tonight. If you guys have never seen my wedding ring, my wife, had this designed so it's pretty beat up but this is zirconium nickel damascus and rose gold um is my actual usually i wear a rubber one tonight i'm wearing the actual ring sorry my my hands are gross but um that thing is really worn into my finger there uh but yeah that's my uh, my actual wedding ring i don't usually show that She, she built that all by herself, like just based on like stuff that she thought I would like um, through like the knife stuff years ago. I'll never forget that guy saying that he, he thought that I had like a fungus. He was like, you gotta, you gotta seek treatment for your hands, man. You got some kind of fungus. <laughs> He's like, you got, it's building up all the way into your index finger and stuff. Like you gotta really... You should go to a dermatologist. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm okay, man. <laughs> what do I do for crust? I let it flake off. It'll come off. The the knurling on the bar will, will grate it down. I'll be all right. Crust. <laughs> My hands would be crusty. My hands be crusty. Yes, yeah, the the bar will grind it off. Like it's the the calluses are never a problem. You're gonna pass out. <laughs> That's how Parmesan cheese is made. Me supporting the entire Parmesan cheese industry. They just follow me, follow me around with a bucket. It's a nice smell. I don't use chalk. I don't like chalk. I don't. I don't like how chalk feels. I just try to hold on. Now I've ruined Parmesan cheese for anybody who loves it. Next time you're at a, a restaurant, you order a salad, and they're like, you want some Parmesan? You'd be like, no, I, I can't, sorry. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> oh, man. Gross. <laughs> ruined Parmesan for people. Absolutely ruined it for you guys. I don't like, you guys, you guys who lift, you guys like using chalk. I don't like how it feels. Even that, people tell me, like, try the liquid chalk stuff. I hate that stuff too. I don't like how it feels on my hands. I don't like getting it all over my clothes. I also don't lift enough. Like I'm not doing that heavy a weight to need it. So I just don't like it. I don't use it. I hate how it feels. Also, if I get a split, if like the, the air's real dry and I get a split in my hands, I don't like feeling a chalk in my splits. I don't like it. I don't wear gloves in the gym. You listen, if you if you like to wear gloves in the gym, wear gloves in the gym. I would much rather just not wear gloves and just let my hands harden up how they do. 
I, it's been that way since I was 15. I've never needed them. My hands are fine. I use moisturizer. You just, just use moisturizer. This part of your hand's gonna be a little dead. This part's gonna be a little dead up here, right? If you play guitar, the tips are gonna be dead. You'll be fine. You'll live. Yeah, he says I do concrete. Yeah, if you do concrete, your whole hand is gross. Your whole hand is just like a, a big toenail. <laughs> Chalky splits, man, that makes me cringe, dude. Getting chalk in a, you know, open wound from dry air. Oh, especially when the callus splits right here. This callus splits up here. I can't do it. Not on the right hand for some reason, but this one right here. God, that hurts. All right, what knives do you want to see? Should we get them? Should we flip them all and name them? Max A Sandstorm V2 Integral. Very cool. Always have to screw that pin back in. We have the, interestingly, a really fun EDC, the chisel ground version of the Chavez 229 Redemption with the uh, kickstop flipper. That's been a real fun one, actually, to, to carry around. The Scarab 2 is out here because I, I have a secured a Scarab Gen 3. So this is my Shadow Scarab 2, which I've had for a long time. Uh, but I, I do have a new, a brand new Scarab on the way at some point. This I just brought out for fun because it's just a rare version of the Evo Typhoon and Damas Seal. I bought this knife back in the day, I think for $450. There's no way that this knife still goes for the same now. But uh, I think the second run of Evo Typhoons, the first time they were ever offered in Damasteel, to my knowledge. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I love that one. Skaha 2 was in my pocket for the whole weekend. It's already got battle scars, and I've been carrying this guy nonstop. Carbon fiber. That's the um, Spyderco Python with the lock stick. Love it. It's my the most beautiful Spyderco that's ever been made. It just has lock stick. Kaiser Militaw special run in purple fat carbon and shiny polished DLC S45VN. The brown knives FSD full size. Uh, the reason this guy's out here is a talking point actually I didn't get to because I was talking about Dragon Ball Z and crap. I just bought a brand new Cortex XL. You guys will get to see that here fairly soon. Working on some interesting texturing so that'll be a bit the yawn i think this is the emw this was the this is a weird one um this is the it's hard to front flip without accidentally cutting yourself the cranes cutlery exclusive double damas steel blade with the um obviously the uh Zerkatai inlays but yeah that's a that's a wild one honestly fairly inexpensive considering it's titanium and Zerkatai and two damas steel blades Skiff Fugitive. God, the detent on that. Is this the Fugitive? It's not the Drifter. I think it's a Fugitive. Yeah, this is my most recent Skiff purchase. If you're big on USA stuff and you've been looking at Skiff and you're like, I don't know. Yeah, buy, buy a Skiff product. You'll be uh, infinitely happy. It'll set a new bar for you, actually. These are wonderful knives. Very, very much worth the money. Rob Johnson Cedar for very much the same reason. If you're okay with... Uh, Latvian made. I want to say it's Latvia, Northern Europe. Rob Johnson's is absolute quality. Uh, the uh, Rook, I almost said Bishop. That's a different chess piece. The Rook by Hawk and Surge. Always a crowd favorite. The custom Dragonfly in Timascus and Damacore. That's performance Damacore. Custom Stitch, the most expensive knife that I own. Black Ice, Quad, Compound, Hollow Ground, etc. Full tie. Six pieces of blue tritium inserted. Inserted. I don't know why I enunciated there throughout the backspacer and other parts of the knife. Shadow Stitch. A rare automatic shadow stitch with no branding anywhere except for the pocket clip. That's a good one. 
Custom build. Shaman, Zerkatai, S90V, uh, Knife Center exclusive with the Med and Boss Zerkatai scales. We have the Hog House Veli, another unsung hero of this territory. Koenig, uh, Oz Machine Company, Brown territory, right? Rob Johnson's territory, beautiful. Also very rare, full DLC Herman Dragonfly. Not nearly as heavy in the detent department as this guy. Well, I say not nearly. I'd say it's 85%. Every detent's slightly different, but very fun. And then finally, the Max Ace of Faistus. The most elegant of the big boys. This is kind of like the Bugatti Sheeran of pocket knives. It's a muscle car, but it's also kind of an exotic car. Like, you know, whatever. That's, the, that's a really lazy analogy. All right. Did you guys get, did you guys get your fix? I think it's I think it's time to draw. It's 9:30. We're gonna draw, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a hangout. So uh, make sure you guys need to follow. Listen, if you're just joining, wow, there's 1,500. Seriously, there's almost there's there's 1,500 people in here on a Sunday evening. You guys are amazing. I thought there'd be 900 people in here tonight. I know I always say that, but I mean it. I thought there's no way. There's no way the population is gonna get anywhere near what it usually does. Because it's late on a Sunday evening, people gotta work. Nobody wants to, nobody wants to do this this late. Thank you very much for, for hanging out with me tonight. That means the world to me. If you are just joining, if this is your first live stream, and you're like, I'm here, but I don't know 100% if I know what I'm doing. I know I'm talking to a few of you directly. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do. These note cards actually will fill you in here. How to enter? There's a link in the description. Okay. Right at the top of the description, open it up real quick. It says, enter here, live participation required. All you do is simply click on that link and leave a simple comment under that video. It can be anything, as long as it's not a swear word or something. Don't don't type anything racist. Anything that you think YouTube might filter you for, don't do that. Just type something simple. That's all you got to do. It's free to enter. You don't have to be a patron. You don't have to be a member. Technically, you don't even have to be subscribed. I would appreciate if you were subscribed, but... Let's say you hate me, you hate my guts, but you want a free knife. Hey, if you win, I'll send you a free knife. That's fine. I'll send free knives to my haters. No problem. I love you guys too. But that's really all you guys have to do, okay? Let me move this stuff. I'm going to put the Skaha back in my pocket. I just really, I really love this knife, guys. I I, uh, I can't describe how satisfying it is to carry and use this knife. It's really good. And it got it got a decent workout. Uh, over the last few days, you know, it's still got some crap on there, but yeah, this, I used it quite a bit. It was, it's a fun knife. Um, all right, hold on. So do this, do this. I know most of you guys are, you know, you guys are the fun crowd, right? How to enter. There's a link in the description. Just do this, do this real quick while I get loaded up here. I mean, when I say loaded, I mean like literally using the iPad and loaded. <laughs> I don't mean figuratively. I mean literally loading up. The iPad. <laughs> That's a poor choice of words. Um, while I while I load up the page that's required to choose the winner. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. <laughs> the comments, comments now. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I meant I meant uh, loading up the website. Um, all right. So, oh, I, I forgot. I have to get the link. Oh man, I'm glad my daughter was watching the Super Mario Bros. movie on this earlier. I'm glad that uh, the battery's not. Oh hey, by the way, huge thank you to everybody, new subscribers, and everybody. This last month, I broke my one month subscriber record. The channel received. 32,000 subscribers in 28 days. I also broke the single day subscriber record. There was one day where the channel received 2,900 subscribers in a single day. So thank you very much to everybody. I am just blown away that this channel is still breaking records. Um, that's amazing to me. So thank you very much. If you just recently joined, if you're one of the recent subscribers, you probably came in from the Gooby Wooby short or the 
you know, the one with the gravity, uh, the, the uh, dragonfly from uh, AGA Camplin. Thank you. Wherever you came from, thank you very much. Um, that's uh, really amazing to me that this, this channel can still do that. So very cool. Thank you for being part of this journey for me. This absolutely still is a journey. We're approaching half a million subscribers, which I remind people there will absolutely be an insane, epic, crazy giveaway. Um, so we're approaching. We're swiftly approaching half a million. Anyways, let's get back to it. I know you guys are like, shut up, dude. That's great. Good for you. But draw the knives. All right, hold on. Okay. Uh, let's get everything out. Three, four, five, six. Six, so we have 12 left. So here's what's happening. If your name gets drawn, do this. If you haven't done this, do it. If your name gets drawn, you get to select two. Two from the top, two from the bottom, one from the top of the bottom, whatever you want. The winner gets to draw two. The most expensive knife of this bunch is still in there. There's a knife in there valued at $450, and it is American made. So just know that. We're going to refresh this page. Comment Picker is a third-party website. You can try it for yourself. If you want to, it works. I mean, it's like full access. Like you can use it on literally any YouTube video. Here is the exact link that you entered under. You're welcome to pause the video and check that for, your, for yourself to make sure I'm not pulling a fast one on you. Filter duplicate users. We're going to get those YouTube comments real quick. Oh, I need, I'm ready for an, an additional Gatorade here. Wow. Holy crap. Okay, 1800, 1887. 1887 entries with 1712 live participants tonight. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get right here, okay? First winner tonight is Saint Legion 22. We're looking for a brown pea. <laughs> Uh, go birds! Love the content. This is who we're looking for. In chat, Saint Legion Twenty Two, make yourself known in chat. Everybody else, calm down just for a second, so we can get this guy known. We want all to bear witness to this person's live participants. Is that the right way to say that? In chat. There he is. Peter Clavin. Hold on. Hold on. He's been in chat this whole time. Oh, wait. Wait, no, hold on. Peter, hold on. Hold on a second. I believe that's you. Saint Legion Twenty Two is is the original. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. We'll we'll email and I'll ask you to confirm that. But I believe that is one hundred percent you. All right. He is here. Peter. Everybody else, chill chill out and chat real quick. Peter. One through six on top. One through six on bottom. You can choose two on top, two on bottom, or one of each. But tell me, I know. I know he says swear to me, it's me on my on my mom. Yeah, I believe you. We'll talk. We'll talk privately, but don't worry. Select your two knives, and everybody else in chat, slow down and let him pick. Two on top, four on bottom. One, two on top. We got a uh, Civivi pouch. Two, three, four on bottom. Obviously the. Two Civivi pouches. The name is not indicative of what's in the pouch, but the two he selected. Oh, he got this fancy. Uh, what do we call this one? The the Damasteel or not Damasteel? It's it's a San Mai and aluminum button lock. Probably the fanciest knife that Civivi has ever done. That is yours. Congratulations. And then the second knife, Stormhowl. That's what it is. 
The second night, for some reason, my live. Hold on, I'm reloading the the stream here because my my stream just like died. There we go. Okay. So the second knife is, oh, and also the, what is this one? It's titanium and 14C28N, uh, the variant, Cuvist titanium variant. Two very nice knives, definitely not budget knives for sure, uh, but those are both yours. So all you have to do to claim your prizes is email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your full name your shipping information in the exact two knives that you won. Don't worry if I don't respond right away. In fact, don't worry if I don't respond all the way up until Friday of next week. You will receive your tracking information and both knives. That's when I'll ship them is one week from, well, five days from now, right? So these will go safely back into the pouches and those will be reserved for you. And let's quickly draw the next one because I don't have a ton of time. Oh, let's collapse these. There we go. And we're gonna pick a new winner. The second and final winner for this evening. Mr. Bloggy 5614 says, sweet. It is a picture of, it looks like a some sort of blue smiley face. Mr. Bloggy 5614. Chat, slow down and let him make himself or herself known. Where you at, bloggy? There he is. He's here. He's here. I saw him. Mr. Bloggy, I got you. No, I'm not talking to you, Alexa. All right, or whoever, is it Siri? Shut up, Siri. All right, Mr. Bloggy. One through five up top, one through five on bottom, or two on top, two on bottom, whatever you want. I see it. No, I got you. If it makes you guys feel any better, I also didn't win tonight, so I can't win. I have to give, I, I, I'm, I'm going to give these away. I don't get to, I'm not going to keep these. So, one and one. He's going one and one. Let me make sure I read that correct. Okay, one and one. One and one. A send cut pouch and a Civivi pouch. What did we win? What did we win? Oh, he definitely got a premium knife. This is the CJRB. This is number one. This is titanium and S90V. The frack. Yeah, Frag, Frack, S90V, and Titanium, I believe, $200. Definitely a premium. Definitely uh, pulled a Charizard there for sure. And then uh, also, oh, God, are you kidding me? Holy crap. Yeah, well, you got, you got 500 bucks worth of knives tonight. This knife also comes with custom scales. Um, the other scales are in the box, but you also got cracked ice titanium finish scales with the kraken um from um pyrotech s two s90v titanium knives holy moly that was a big win <laughs> i was hoping both of those would last a little longer people who think that this is rigged and fixed oh there you go two titanium s90v knives to the same person. That happens sometimes. The Pyrotech will come courtesy of Pyrotech, by the way, with custom scales. Make sure you guys follow Pyrotech. Check out their website. The Pyrotech Kraken is a pretty serious knife, and they include the exact Rockwell hardness of every knife. You'll receive all that information. But very cool stuff. Left and right-handed carry. In fact, both of these knives, if you're right or left-handed carry, you'll be very happy. So... That was a very lucky pull there, big guy. Um, the uh, the information you need to utilize to contact me with your shipping information is right here. Please send me your full name, your full shipping details, and the exact two knives that you want. And I will uh, respond to you no later than Friday of next week with your tracking information. Uh, of course, you'll receive all the original packaging and stuff. 
Um, but yeah, these are yours. So congratulations. Sometimes people win like two premium. Sometimes people win two budget knives. We had that one guy win three that one night. Remember that? He got like seven hundred dollars worth of knives in one pull. Uh, that happens, you know. So these are yours. Sorry if I didn't flash. If, if I, you know, flash that too quickly. But that's uh, that's what you need to do there. So congrats. Sorry. That went a little further than I expected it to, but yeah, everything's there, ready to go. All right. We have, I got about 13 minutes to hang out with you guys, just for a bit here. I guess we don't need these. All right. I'm glad we did this. I'm glad we made time. It was important. Live streams are important. Here we are. Man. When did I start this channel? 2018? Yeah, it's been over six years. You guys have spent six years with me. Some of you have legitimately spent six years with me. Rob, I'll have a healthy dose of water immediately following this live stream. Apparently, there is a fix for the Python lockstick, but it's not done by Spyderco. Um, the maker of brown knives has, and I still need to send him, I keep forgetting, he's sending me a knife that I bought, so I should send him the Python. He's offered to fix that for me. So he's confident he can fix it. Apparently, it's something not over you know super over complicated but um spiderco taichung taiwan is unwilling to fix it but there are reports of people receiving pythons that don't have lock stick so i don't know incredible population tonight for sunday evening thank you all so much i appreciate that I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. I don't plan on changing, so I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Where can you find the Max Ace? They did a second run of the Hephaestus recently, but I think they're sold out again. I bet they'll do another one. If you miss something from Max Ace, don't worry. It's Give Max Ace two weeks and they'll release something else that's super crazy. You're welcome. Thank you for saying thank you. I'm, I'm happy to do these giveaways. I'm glad you guys enjoy them. I, I very much enjoy doing this. This is my favorite thing to do, is giveaway knives. Where did I get the Scarab 2 Gen 3? Well, I, I have, a, I have a, a Microtech contact now, so I still have to pay for them. But, you know, as a content creator with a pretty big audience, you know, it's it's no secret that I have access to things that are, are somewhat, you know, difficult to get, but it's, they're, the companies are also getting promoted. So I um, am purchasing a Scarab Gen 3 directly through Microtech, and I have that opportunity because of the channel. So, and while, you know, a lot of people view that as unfair, I get it, um, but I, I'd rather just be honest about it than try and hide it. Um, I'm buying that directly through Microtech, but I am paying for it. But I, I'm buying it because I want to make content. That's a good example of what I use Patreon funds for. The people who support me on Patreon who want this information in the form of content, I take those Patreon funds and buy things that I have access to, you know, special access to because of the channel, and then I create content out of it. So that, you know, people can make informed decisions. And yeah, I mean, I'm mean, adding stuff to my collection for sure and enjoying it for myself, but I'm also trying to give honest feedback that's beneficial for the community so balance that out some people don't like that some people view that as not okay some people i mean it, however you view it that's that's what's happening with the channel i'd rather just everybody understand exactly what i'm doing here so that the channel has no secrets
Would, would I consider selling my chickadee? I really like my chickadee. Uh, the Jacob creates chickadee. I really like that. I, I appreciate your interest, but I, I, I really want to keep that. That's a, that's a really unique little EDC fixed blade that I have. And it was custom made and very well made by Jacob creates. If you're not following Jacob creates, you should. If you want a little, you know, a really cool little EDC fixed blade that's very well made, uh, you should check him out. Because I feel like his prices are great. I have no idea will the ne when the Neptune's going to drop. No idea. <laughs> Metal complex for trying for draining my bank account. My wife hates you. Sorry. Send your send your send my love to your wife in the most platonic way and most apologetic way possible. <laughs> there are a lot of significant others out there who definitely do not like me. I'm sorry. Screen record this. Consider this a mass apology to all of the significant others who uh, are questioning their relationship because of my YouTube channel. Sorry about that. Knives are a, a tricky thing. It's a weird thing. We obsess over bladed objects in, in the strangest way. But it's real. And obviously a, uh, obviously a lot of people feel the same way, you know? Let's give away some memberships. You guys were super generous tonight. Here's, I'm gonna buy 20 memberships. These do actually, I do actually pay for these. I'm just letting you know. I mean, yeah, like the channel, it turns around and the channel benefits, but I, I do actually pay Google 30% for these. So 20 memberships from me to you. It's not that expensive. You know, but for people wondering, like, does he pay as a content creator when he gives those? Yeah, I do. I but I, I'm essentially paying myself and then I'm paying Google 30 percent. But the benefit is for people who don't have memberships, you get a membership. Congrats. The greatest tragedy would be her selling them for what she thought I paid. See, you gotta t you you gotta spill the beans at some point because if you go, if the universe decides to take you, you gotta you gotta tell them at some point. I, I tell I, I tell my wife and my wife is is super cool and and she knows. I tell her I'm like this is the value, and you you have like with all the people in the community and all the other content creators that that have helped me out like you have a million people who can tell you like this is what this is what you need to sell it for if i go you know if i get hit by a meteor tomorrow my wife is she knows <laughs> so that's, i find comfort in that you know and, and like not not hiding this from my wife i don't want to do that i want her to know and it's all, you know, everything is neatly stored. She's gonna have a problem finding the boxes. That's not organized, but the value she definitely knows. And I feel like that's important. <laughs> Be honest with your significant other. Yeah, don't you don't want you don't want her to be selling a Python for five bucks at a yard sale, man. If they can benefit your family after your after your passing, then you, you should definitely be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the black flipper with the thick blade. I mean, I got the flipper. Well, it's not really that thick. The black flipper. This is a uh, Herman Dragonfly. I think it's a hundred and forty-five thousands. The other black, all black knives would be the shadow stitch, very thick at 185 thousandths, and then the custom stitch at, I think this is also about 180 thousandths. Marfion Borka stitch. One of these days I'm going to drop that stitch on, on everything else. I'm going to like accidentally drop that stitch and everything. I just know that that day is coming. What's the Sunday giveaway? So I had 
this was a weekend. So both of my kids are in a lot of traveling stuff. And sometimes I have time. Most of the time I can make time for, uh, you know, on Fridays. But there are certain seasons where weekends are entirely eaten up by family stuff. And this was one of those weekends. So I, I was, I, I drove on Friday. We left and drove about five and a half hours. We were there all weekend. And today I drove back five and a half hours and literally did this live stream started this live stream 30 minutes after arriving back home and i did it because i knew that there was only one chance that i would be able to do a live stream and it would be sunday evening and i almost didn't do it but i thought i think i can get back and do it you know it's just an hour and a half so most of the time it's going to be on fridays but you know like tonight i had a lot of stuff going on so For 200 bucks, the live wire or the mini hair. The mini hair is cool, but the man, the live wire is such a good knife. People, I don't think people realize how impressive the live wire is. And as much as I love Microtech, let's be honest, I think Kershaw's doing a better heat treat. Or when I say better, you know, I'm not a metallurgist, I don't have the proper equipment, but more to the community's expectations. I think Kershaw's hitting those super steals a little bit higher. You know? If you don't care, Microtech probably has the better all the way around fit and finish, but Kershaw's probably delivering a better tool, in my opinion. I think Kershaw's... The live wire is hard to beat for the money. You got gifted a membership. Get, hey, awesome. Good, man. Congrats. Thanks for being here. Searched all weekend for MC Live. <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't like, if if I make a post, I'm like, I'm not doing it on Friday. I'm doing it on Sunday. Then all I get is a bunch of douchebags going like, man, man I can't be an idiot. Like, I don't want to be like, if I just don't say anything and then I just post it on Sunday, it minimizes all the complainers, right? Everybody's the main character in their own lives, so they don't think about like, you know, if I make it, there's a whole group of people who don't make it. If I can't make it, there's a bunch of people who do make it. It doesn't matter when I do it, right? So I found it better to just let people know the day that it's happening, a few hours before it happens, like, hey, this is when it's happening. You know, people are pissed either way. So why bother with it? Just let people know, you know, four to six hours before it happens. And if people show up, they show up, right? Spreading it out also gives other people who wouldn't normally have an opportunity to join, it gives them an opportunity, right? So not doing it at the exact same time every single week is beneficial for a larger audience. Most of the people who join, like you guys find time either way, so I appreciate that. Again, most of the people complaining, it's people who think that I live, eat, sleep, breathe YouTube and have no other obligations. They expect them to me, they expect me to cater to them 24 seven because they don't think of me as a person who has a life, you know? So they have, why should I care what they think? But you guys who understand, who are here regularly, you guys know that. So it's for you guys. I'm not saying you're fat, but if you are fat, that's fine. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Live your life. Be happy. You know, try to try to make good choices. But what, whatever you are, wherever you are in life, whatever. Do what makes you happy. All right. It's time. It's 10 o'clock, guys. It's time. And I, honestly, I got to go to bed. I'm tired. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for letting me live my dream. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you to my Instagram followers. Thank you to everybody. Congrats to the winners tonight. I hope you all have an excellent rest of your Sunday evening and an excellent rest of your week ahead. Bye.